Hi, Trevor here, reflecting on live stream music. Thank you for stopping by. Well, come in again today. You're very, very welcome. How great to see everybody here. I trust you enjoyed my last video on Aussie band The Cruel Sea. And through this song, The Honeymoon Is Over, we talked about how we can get the culture of relationships off the best way we can. So I trust you found that one encouraging. We're going from there to 1969 in Fullerton, California. Uh, this girl um, started in California State University, but when the band No Doubt um, got going in 1986, she dropped out to do music full time. Of course, the girl we're talking about is Gwen Stefani. Now, no doubt we're extremely um, successful and they sold around 33 million albums between 1992 and 2012. And there's been some gaps in there, six studio albums, five compilation albums, three video albums, 21 music videos and 22 singles. A very, very uh, significant band around that turn of the decade. And Gwen Stefani, because she was the front girl for these guys, um, got an absolutely uh, massive following to become a household this name. Yeah, this girl, she's got um, uh, incredible, she's an incredible powerhouse vocalist. She's got an amazing range and she's got unique vocal prowess. And so um, because of that, it was only going to be a matter of time before um, she also did a bit of solo stuff as well. And it was in 2004 she released Love Angel Music Baby. Um, this was a very significant album for her and the song of that one, What Are You Waiting For? It's probably where I, go, where I want to go today. Um, I've got both official and live version of this one, to, one below. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on in this video. We've got TikTok, TikTok, TikTok. That implies um, by, uh, having children and Gwen certainly has, has been uh, wanting that as well. As well as having a career, making the most of life and everything that we need to do. Um, there seems to be a few videos of late which have looked at this of making the most of the life because we've got, only got one of it. And you know, when you are in the midst of um, being popular as Gwen, Gwen actually was back there and still is a little bit now, you know, there's a lot going on in your mind. You want to be able to do everything that you possibly can. But there's something a little bit more about this song that I love to, too and that is there's an urgency here. It's like, hey, I don't want to have any days go by. I don't want to have any weeks go by where I'm not making a difference in my life because I've only got one life and I want to make the most of it. How often, though, do we keep sitting on the couch and, and not doing that? How often do we, we, we kind of think, hey, I'll just wait, I'll do it tomorrow. I'm going to worry about doing it today. And then tomorrow happens, it doesn't happen either. What changes are we making today? that will be long lasting tomorrow. One change for me of late, actually, interestingly, um, I, um, me and dancing don't tend to get on terribly well together, <laughs> um, but to found myself last weekend getting up on the dance floor. Now, massive thing for me to do, but all you need is to have someone hold their hand out to you and, and get you off on the dance floor and the next minute you're dancing. And you know, after the initial 30 seconds, it was, it was okay. And so, you know, we look at other couples and they're doing, their, doing the whole really, really cool dancing, thinking, gee, I'd love to be able to do that too. So what are we waiting for? Is it a classic case of make the most of life while we got it? And if you've got someone saying, hey, it would be really, really good thing, really good to be able to do this with you, well, why wouldn't you want to do that? And so um, make the most of this life. We really, really do. Now, if you're sitting in your lounge room thinking, oh, well, you know, I'm not really that interested in life or, you know, life is so hard at the moment, I really can't, I really don't want to make the most of anything at all. I just want to stay here. Well, you're worth more than that, guys. You're worth more. You're worth it. You're worth giving yourself every chance that you can to come back if you need to come back from, from a hard time because um, hard times designed to make us stronger. So you'd want to make the most of the opportunity um, at the hard time presents itself to become stronger. And so um, may what you're waiting for be, be a line straight to you today. I trust you find that one encouraging. Um, Gwen was also in thinking about movies. She was in The Aviator with uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. In fact, um, she did a number of um, television um, movie performances in her career, including uh, a, a stint as a judge on The Voice. 
In 2006, we got the Sweet Escape, um, and we got a live version of the Sweet Escape below. Now, Gwen, Gwen Stefani, uh, many genres. As I said before, she has an incredible voice. This girl, powerhouse vocalist, she's got an incredible range and unique vocal prowess. In fact, uh, BH when one put her number 13 of the top 100 most significant women in music, so that's a pretty big accolade right there. She's not afraid of genres. Electro pop, new age, dance rock, hip hop, rhythm and blues, disco. Between 2004 and 2017, four studio albums, one video album, 28 music videos, two EPs, 33 singles, estimated to have sold around 30 million copies. So um, as you as you watch the clips below, and then we've got five of them below, um, just just. Think about how complete this girl is as a performance. Incredible voice, a very look, good looking girl on stage, a good dancer, the whole thing. Um, she is a she is an experience when you go and see her, so it's good to be able to give this girl a bit of credit today. Um, between 1996, and, yeah, I've talked about that already, but she's also won an American Music Award, five SK Pop Awards, four BMI Awards, two Billboard Awards, one Brit Award. She's won three Grammy Awards from second nominations. And also a few MTV awards, and so quite um, quite re well regarded from both fans and industry. So it's great to be able to give this girl a go. So I said before, the links to the slide clips are in the description below, and I've also included my last video from the Cruel C. So if you're on a cap on them, feel free. Well, if you come back for another one, or this is your first time to live reflections through music, as we're pushing up to the five hundredth. Video in this series, we're still about we're still about ten off, but we're getting up to the five hundred mark. Pretty pretty exciting. So thank you for all coming here, and thank you um, for coming for the first time. If you're here for the first time, so great to see you here. Well, that's it for today. Next time we're going to get on to band Hawk Nelson. So until then, I'll catch you around. Bye for now.